bike that needs to get built gets done. Everybody's working at all times. And you know what? Know. Ten not years. Know. This is the kind of stuff we've been dealing with for ten years. Yeah, we're yeah, partners in this thing. If you weren't here. involved I'm here, here, let me tell you something. Listen, if I wasn't I, involved, yeah. this place would go to shit. It would burn to the ground. Fire up those engines, Hollywood flashback enthusiasts. Today, we're kicking it into high gear, taking a pulse-pounding joyride through memory lane with the iconic crew of American Chopper. For a whopping two decades, the Tatool family led by the one and only Paul Tatool Sr., flanked by his gearhead sons, Paul Jr. and Michael had us riveted to our screens with their motorcycle marvels and good old family fireworks. From the Discovery Channel to TLC, cancellations to comebacks, these guys have weathered it all. Now, hold on tight as we peel back the curtain to reveal the present-day pursuits of this legendary crew. It's American Chopper Casts, then and now, exclusively on our channel. Buckle up, folks, because the jaw-dropping transformations and adventures these icons have tackled since the American Chopper days are nothing short of legendary. American Chopper, the reality TV juggernaut, has been keeping audiences hooked for a solid two decades, giving us an all-access pass to the Tatool family theatrics. Debuting on the Discovery Channel in 2003, the show thrust Paul Tatool Sr. and his gearhead prodigies, Paul Jr. and Michael, into the limelight as they cranked out custom bikes at Orange County Choppers in Rock Tavern, New York. The series chronicled the clash of wrenches and personalities, as the father and sons whipped up extravagant motorcycles for A-list clients and duped it out in contests. Amidst the family feuds, fans couldn't get enough of the skilled craftsmen fashioning bikes from the ground up, all while managing their real-deal family drama with a generous sprinkling of humor, of course. Shifting gears to TLC in 2008, surviving cancellations and spin-offs, and roaring back to life in 2018 with a special in 2020, American Chopper proved it's not just a show, it's a high-octane, drama-fueled ride through TV history. 1. Paul Tatool Sr. Paul Tatool Sr., renowned for his role in American Chopper, has seamlessly transitioned from television stardom to a thriving career in custom auto fabrication. Since the show's conclusion in 2010, he founded Paul Sr. Designs, where he continues to exhibit his skills and has even brought his sons into the fold. With both Paul Jr. Designs and Paul Sr. Designs operating under one roof, Paul Sr. remains an iconic figure in the motorcycle industry, serving as a designer, fabricator, and co-owner of Orange County Choppers and Paul Sr. Designs. Located outside of New York City and in Rock Tavern, these ventures showcase his unique designs, especially in crafting custom motorcycles for discerning clients. Beyond motorcycles, Paul Sr. occasionally takes on unconventional projects, like transforming a Boeing 737 fuselage into a fully functional RV for tech billionaire Elon Musk. Despite his success, Paul Sr. has faced legal challenges over the years, becoming entangled in various lawsuits. From legal disputes with his son, Paul Jr., to facing litigation from professional photographer Scott Gunnels and business partner Thomas Derbyshire, Paul Sr. has made headlines for legal matters and even filed for bankruptcy. Beyond the courtroom drama, he's not just known for his bike customization, his extensive collection of tattoos has also garnered attention. In 2019, he ventured into the wellness industry by launching Tatseal, a topical medicine derived from bioceuticals, claiming to alleviate pain and inflammation associated with tattoos. Overall, Paul's post-show life is marked by intriguing projects that reflect his unwavering passion and talent in automotive design. Paul Tatool Sr., who founded Orange County Choppers in 1999, is worth an estimated $500,000 as of 2023. Despite his lengthy career and business ventures, recent bankruptcy and multiple lawsuits have seen his net worth dwindle considerably. He continues to work as a custom motorcycle designer and fabricator, often making appearances on television shows and commercials. He's also branching out into other businesses related to custom motorcycling and owns a line of merchandise. 2. Paul Tatool Jr. 
Following his time on American Chopper, Paul Jr. diversified his career with notable television appearances. His stint on Celebrity Apprentice in 2009 was just the beginning, as he went on to feature in various shows like American Dad, RuPaul's Drag Race, and The Grand Tour. Beyond cameos in series like The Big Bang Theory and Curb Your Enthusiasm, Paul Jr. has forged his path as a successful entrepreneur in the motorcycle industry. Despite parting ways with OCC in his father's ventures, he now heads his own custom fabrication shop, Paul Jr. Designs. The shop not only provides bespoke design services but also produces a range of accessories, from t-shirts to coffee cups, catering to motorcyclists worldwide. With awards for his designs and custom bikes crafted for celebrities like John Bon Jovi and Kid Rock, Paul Jr. continues to make cameo appearances on shows like Counting Cars and Fast and Loud to showcase his impressive work. In addition to his television ventures, Paul Jr. ventured into entrepreneurship by launching a clothing line under the banner of Paul Jr. Designs. The line includes hats, t-shirts, hoodies, and branded accessories. His website showcases detailed images of the custom motorcycles that gained him recognition on the original show. Collaborating with Wayne Carini in 2019 for the launch of Chasing Classic Cars on Discovery Channel's Motor Trend Network, Paul Jr. continued to share his expertise in a weekly series focused on cars and automotive industry experts. Despite his thriving career, Paul Jr. announced at the end of 2019 that he was taking a hiatus from public life to prioritize spending quality time with family and friends. While his future public engagements remain uncertain, one thing is definite, Paul Tatool Jr. will forever be remembered for his pivotal role in creating the iconic show American Chopper. 3. Mikey Tatool Since departing from American Chopper in 2011, Mikey Tatool, the youngest son of Paul Tatool Sr., has taken on a diverse range of pursuits. Now a professional driver, he has showcased his skills in racing shows like Motor Trends, Fastest Car, and has become an off-road champion and professional race car driver. Mikey's passion extends to off-roading, and he has successfully ventured into the business of manufacturing custom off-road parts through his company, MOX Off-Road Gear. Mikey's inclination toward customization, evident during his time on American Chopper, has persisted. Even before leaving the show, he was involved in personal projects, such as building minibikes and customizing cars. In 2016, he launched two luxury electric bikes under the brand Epic Bikes, demonstrating his ongoing commitment to unique creations. Despite facing challenges, such as attempting to fundraise for the bikes through Kickstarter and Indiegogo, Mikey has maintained his fervor for customization. Currently, Mikey is prioritizing family life after he departed from Orange County Choppers in 2008. Public records indicate that he has been married to Veronica Sizemore to Tool since 2013, and together they focus on a quieter existence away from major business operations. Alongside his pursuits, Mikey remains an advocate for animal rescue organizations and finds solace in painting when he's not working on cars and motorcycles. The evolution of Mikey's life post-American Chopper highlights his diverse interests and commitment to both family and his enduring passion for customization. Mikey Tatool has an estimated net worth of $2 million as of 2023. After leaving the family business in 2009, he started his own production company, Gas Monkey Garage. Mikey was also able to leverage his celebrity status by launching Gas Monkey's clothing in 2017 which has become a popular brand throughout the US and Europe. Which Tatool family member's journey surprised you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below, hit that like button if you're a fan of custom bikes and family drama, share this video with your fellow chopper enthusiasts. For Dot Christian Welter Christian Welter, once the foreman, fabricator, and head mechanic at Orange County Choppers during the American Chopper era, has evolved into a thriving entrepreneur two decades later. Post-show, Welter established his own metal fabrication shop, CW Fabrications, situated near OCC. Here, he dedicates his skills to crafting custom motorcycles and designing parts. Additionally, he spearheads CW Garage, 
a bike building venture specializing in creating showpieces from scratch, including limited edition collections with unique designs. Welter's active involvement in the motorcycle community over the past decade underscores his enduring passion for the craft. Beyond his fabrication ventures, Welter owns C3 Powersports, a comprehensive power sports dealership that offers rentals, sales, accessories, and services for ATVs, UTVs, and more. His talents extend beyond mechanics, as he is also a recognized steel sculptor, with his work showcased in various cities across the country. Adding to his diverse portfolio, Welter annually chairs a motorcycle charity event benefiting disabled veterans in the US and Canada. The event's proceeds contribute to providing appropriate transportation for these veterans, showcasing Welter's commitment to both his craft and charitable endeavors. 5. Vinny DiMartino Amidst the daily conflicts and family drama on American Chopper, one individual stood out for his composure and dedication, Vinny DiMartino. Serving as the mechanic and fabricator at the OCC shop, Vinny was known for keeping a low profile and staying clear of the tumultuous father-son disputes. His calm nature and commitment to his craft made him a fan favorite. In 2007, Vinny decided to part ways with both OCC and the show, embarking on his entrepreneurial journey. Taking the reins of his destiny, Vinny founded V-Force Customs, his own garage, explaining, I really didn't have any chance for advancement, and I had always wanted to have my own shop, so the natural progression was to leave and start my own place. Over the next five years, he successfully operated his garage while also working as a contractor for former castmate Paul Jr. By 2013, Vinny had shifted his focus from bikes to cars. He sold all his motorcycles and transitioned into the world of cars, acquiring car-related inventory. This shift led to the establishment of DiMartino Motorsports, a truck and car repair company based in Walden, New York, showcasing Vinny's resilience and adaptability in the ever-evolving world of custom fabrication. Even though the cast of American Chopper has taken different paths, fans can still stay connected with their lives through the wonders of modern technology. Thanks to social media and websites, dedicated fans and newcomers alike have multiple avenues to see what the cast members have been up to. Paul Sr., Paul Jr., Mikey, Christian, and Vinny maintain active social media accounts on platforms like Twitter and Instagram, providing a great way for enthusiasts to stay up to date with their current interests and activities. These platforms serve as a window into their lives, where they often share photos and videos not only from their time on the show but also from their more recent projects, keeping the fan community engaged with their ongoing endeavors. The crew from American Chopper has been hitting the throttle on success for two solid decades since the show's debut. Some stuck to their love for crafting motorcycles, whipping up custom bikes, and launching their own killer apparel lines. Meanwhile, others took a detour into the worlds of cars, tattoos, and even merch and clothing lines. These guys didn't just entertain, they pioneered a whole new industry that's still turning heads today. Each cast member rolled out of the shop leaving a lasting mark on the custom motorcycle scene, becoming true trendsetters. Their out-of-the-box thinking and mad skills not only pushed the boundaries of bike building but also kickstarted a fresh wave of passion among new enthusiasts and builders. American Chopper's legacy isn't just a flashback, it's a roar that echoes through the ongoing impact of its cast. These guys collectively cranked up the volume, making the custom motorcycle industry rev harder and evolve faster. I hope you enjoyed this blast from the past with us. But hold on to your handlebars, because we're not hitting the brakes just yet. Cruise on down below and drop a comment, which cast member's life after American Chopper threw you the biggest curveball? Slam that like button if their transformations blew your mind as much as ours. Share the love with your fellow Chopper aficionados, and if you haven't joined the ride already, buckle up and hit subscribe to our channel for more VIP access into the lives of your favorite stars. Until the next pit stop, keep those wheels turning, and stay tuned for more Hollywood flashbacks.